If you're looking to start your New Year's Eve celebration a little bit early, then be sure to check out the Old Town Scottish Walk. It takes place on the afternoon of December 31st, and it's been a big tradition for 21 years. Here's Susan Healy, the founder of the walk, to tell us about this year's celebration. Welcome back to Portsmouth Now, Susan. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So, Scottish Walk, tell us a little bit about the history and then what we'll be seeing this year. Absolutely. Well, the Scottish Walk in Portsmouth is based on a tradition that goes way back to ancient days in Scotland where the townspeople would gather on New Year's Eve and come to their town center and wish their town good luck. Bring out the old, bring in the new, and they sing Old Lang Syne. So we recreate that here in Portsmouth. This is our 21st year of recreating that Scottish walk. A Scottish walk doesn't mean you have to be Scottish. It just means that you're a townsperson who would like to come out and wish your town good luck and best wishes in the new year. There's usually a lot of musical entertainment too <clears throat> following the walk. There is. It's kind of like a caroling of musicians. We start at the foot of High Street where the walk ends and we come up High Street and stop off and, and play along the street with with our pipers and drummers, fiddlers, maybe dancers, whoever might be showing up to donate their time to come in and uh, kind of carol up High Street. So I understand we have a couple of people coming this year that you're sort of attached we to? We <laughs> do. Portsmouth is, should be very honored in that they have two current um, Portsmouth boys who have made well in Scottish music. My son, Ben Elkins, has been our number one Scottish national gold medal champion in Scottish drumming for the last two years. And my nephew, Sean Healy, has been our national Scottish fiddling champion. And so these young men have participated every year in the walk. They are coming back. And Ben is bringing some of his pipe band from the city of Dunedin, Florida, that just won the world championships in Glasgow, Scotland. They are world champions. And so they will be they here. They will be here. Now, uh, there's a, the ceremony actually takes place. We gather around here in this area right here, don't we? We, we do. And then we parade down, the whole community does, to the waterfront at the end of High Street. And that's where we have the ceremony. And it's a very short 10-minute ceremony. We sing Old Lang Syne, which is the tradition, even in New York, with the ball dropping. Mm -hmm. Old Lang Syne with the Pipers, and we have a little moment in Portsmouth's history because on this day, January 1, uh, was the day that we had a, a, a wonderful uh, sea battle in, here in Portsmouth with the British and the American troops. Now, I know you, you of course, are the expert in music, and you that's your real focus, but since you founded this, you have really been doing everything on your own, all the logistics. I understand that you have you actually have a team now. <laughs> I do. I'm very thankful for the, the people who came together last year and helped me with posters and with organizations. So I brought on Danny Donovan to help me this year with the business end of it so that I may take over with the musicians and organizing the festivities of the event. Well, that's great. I know that gives you time oh, to focus on what wonderful. you really want to focus on. Wonderful. But thanks for joining us, Susan. And we'll bring Danny over and we will talk to him about times and all that. Perfect. Thank you. Danny, welcome to Portsmouth Now. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. Now, I understand you have, you're with the Scottish Walk. Now, what is your official title? Um, I'm pretty sure that the official title is Healy Helper. Healy I'm just Helper. here to, to, to smooth things over so she can focus on the music. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit logistically what's going on on uh, New Year's Eve. Well, on New Year's Eve, we're going to line up right here, sort of in the corner. Mm -hmm. We have St. John's here, but the real setup is going to be down there in that little parking lot next door. And then from there, we're going to walk all the way down, all the way through through the streets of Old Town leading up to mm. the uh, final place at the uh, ferry stop. Great. Um, we stop, start off at 4.30, but you can start lining up about 4 and get to know all the nice pipers and everybody and enjoy their, uh, their, their warm-ups and tune-ups. <laughs> and, and then afterwards, we get to go off to have a fantastic after party at Longboards. Sounds it's like a lot of fun. It's going to be amazing. Music uh, we're and still dancing. Music and, and dancing. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just an amazing event, and I'm so happy to be part of it and help out a little bit more yeah. and uh, take some of the weight off of Healy's shoulders. Uh, I'm sure she's glad to, I know she's glad to have you. That's good. <laughs> well, thanks for dropping in right, and telling you us so what's much. coming up. I'm excited. We'll see you later. All right. <laughs>